Yeah, because I'm too cheap to go out there and find an intro track. Okay. Rocket Rolls. Motorcycle Safety Foundation Basic Rider Course. This was the first book in our series uh, for our um, beginner bike club. Um, this is the rider handbook from the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. It um, is definitely a book almost all of you are familiar with. There's a course introduction. It talks about different motorcycle types. It talks about the different controls within on the motorcycle. Um, there's a you know a few little fill-in questions in there to kind of do a check, a knowledge check. It talks about the basic operation of the motorcycle, including the friction zone and the turning, breaking to a stop, shifting. It then shifts into um, um, protective gear. It, it talks about, um, you know, kind of the pre-checks on the bike. One of the things that I find amazing is like when I'm in some of the riding groups, there's a wind chill chart in here. Um, sometimes in some of the groups I'm in online is that a lot of times I see people asking questions who are motorcycle riders and maybe they've even, you know, they've taken training courses, but they're asking questions that I know that are in this basic book. And so, you know, there's stuff in here for special riding situations, um, common riding situations, basic street strategies, um, some special topics. Again, there's knowledge tests in here. There's glossaries in here. Um, tons of information that you can use and um, basically just overall this is a good book to have and you shouldn't just have the book you should read the book actually read through it get to know the content that's in the book um, familiar familiarize yourself with it and if you know some time goes by pull it out and reread it I mean you can't sleep at night pull the book out and read it now I'm gonna give you a three for one today and part of that is because um, in addition to the basic rider course book, which we all get when we take the training class, there is another Motorcycle Foundation book, The Guide to Motorcycling Excellence. And I did not talk about this when I did the top five, and I didn't really feel like it, it warranted being declared a second book, but um, because it is, the, you know, the same, the same um, pr 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 producer. And mind you, these books are paid for by the motorcycle industry. So companies like BMW, KTM, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, they're funding the Motorcycle Foundation's um, curriculum to, in order to build out you know, the rider community to give more people the training and, and the resources that they need to be safe motorcyclists. Um, this riding excellence is, again, much of the same type of content as in the basic rider handbook. However, um, there's, little, there's more detail, it's deeper, there's more information in here, um, and I promise you, I've had many a person ask a question in one of our um, online groups that I know for a fact can be found in, you know, either that basic rider course handbook or in this motorcycling excellence. Now, I know sometimes when you go online and you try to find this book, it's not always readily available. Um, the book is supposed to cost roughly about um, $27. I think it's more than worth the $27 bucks if you pay for it. Um, I know the Basic Rider book, you can find a PDF online for free. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it is. You can find this online for free. Um, you can probably find the hard copy to buy online. You definitely can buy this online. Sometimes when you go to click on link, it'll say that the book's not available. But you kind of just kind of search around a little bit, do another fresh search, and or... Um, you know, take the time to just come back and visit a couple of weeks later and usually the book will come up available. Every now and then somebody will jack the price up on this to like 50 bucks or something. I mean, it's worth 50 bucks, honestly, especially if it saves your life. But I don't recommend that you buy it at that time. Be a little smart with your purchasing. We do have some affiliate links here on this video for you to purchase. I don't really, you know, it doesn't bother me if you decide to purchase through my affiliate link or not. If it's helpful, go ahead, click doesn't cost you anything extra but if you you know you need to do some searching and go find it somewhere else go find the book I'm much more interested in folks actually getting this book reading this book understanding the content that's in there I'm much more interested in people having this book go find it because you probably got one laying around read it 
memorize everything that's in this handbook. There's nothing in this handbook that you should not know. And this is why, and I'm going to do them as a combo, you know, this book is my number one choice for um, reading material for beginning motorcyclists in the United States. And I do say the United States is good. I mean, it's good reading for people in other countries, but other countries have their own curriculum out there that I think is um, more, you know, appropriate for the, the, the commuting in, in, in their countries. So, you know, with that, I'm not going to dive deep. I did promise a little bit of a bonus, a three for one. So I'm going to give you the three for one. Um, take the time to go online, visit, and I don't know if you can see this, but you don't really need to be able to read it. But take the time to go online and visit the MSF website. They've got some um, search tools on here to help you find courses. They've got some online curriculum on here. And um, definitely there's more courses besides the basic rider course. They've got three wheel courses. There's scooter courses. Um, there's dirt bike courses. We got an um, MSF dirt bike video coming out um, next week, hopefully. Um, there are, you know, some trail riding things on here. They've got some things, events and stuff that they do on alcohol awareness, um, marijuana awareness, aging awareness. And so MSF is an excellent resource for information um, when it comes to motorcycling. And, and I just advise you to take advantage of the content that's out there. Um, I know some places are not actually actively training on doing courses right now, but that doesn't mean you can't be reading up and preparing for the classes when they start back up and definitely um, most people don't have the time to read all the content that's available in the United States because our classes are so short usually you go in for a couple of hours to fill some paperwork out and get a introduction um, during the week and then you go in I mean you go out on the, um, on, the on the driving range for, for two days and it's not even the entire two days you'll go out on the you go into the classroom for a few hours on Saturday morning then you go out in the driving range you'll learn how to ride a motorcycle and sometimes people have never rode a motorcycle at that point and then um, you you might do a little bit more classroom or you'll go home you come back in Sunday morning you know you do maybe a little bit more classroom then you back out on the driving range but the next you know you do a couple of more lessons but then you're testing so for those of you who aren't in the country and you don't really understand you know just how this works over here you pretty much you know you do I forget what it is technically it's like 20 hours or something but in reality you're probably on the driving range for about six hours one weekend and you know you're never really going up above say 20 24 miles per hour and the next thing you know you've got a license and you go over to you know your motor vehicles you get your M endorsement you're out riding and you know you can just jump on your how you how you and keep it moving or your you know any other you know go go by your leader bike and you're rolling go by your gold wing you know your harley tour and you're out on the road on you know mixing it up with the cagers and you know that's definitely not enough and so what i'm really saying is read the material take some time before class after the class to you know really read up on the material even once you get your endorsement spend some time in the parking lot really you know don't just look at and glance the content that are in these books read it learn it memorize it put it in your head so that when you really need it it's there for you and that is the purpose of this book um, you're going to notice that there's going to be a trend in the books that i mentioned um, i would say the first you know three or four of the top five books are going to be very safety focused it'll drift into some other topics later on but I, I feel like you just got to get the safety down first otherwise you won't you know necessarily live to ride another day so with that I'm going to try to keep it short and I'm going to close out this video this was the first book um, the next book that we are going to cover will be proficient motorcycling um, by David Huff and um, I'm looking forward to making that video and I hope you take the time to not only get this book and read it but check out the next video and get that book and read it too. Rock and rolls over and out. Stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. Mm -hmm.